So um, for those of you who do follow this goofy market, um, I will tell you when the meeting started, the Dow looked like it was going to be up 200 and change. And then in some inflation news came out, uh, which was worse than expected. And now the market looks like it's going to be down over 400 points. So um, I couldn't have asked for a better introduction. So um, for those of you, show of hands, who has actually been through at least one bear market? Okay. And um, for those of you who survived, you know, that uh, you either get mauled or you come out with a couple of bruises and some scrapes. So what prompted this was a couple of weeks back, I did a, um, a survey and we found out from people, the biggest uh, you know, concerns were, do I have the right strategy? Will I run out of money? Uh, I won't be able to retire and how do I create a lifetime income? So I'm gonna go through this real quick because I know I only have 10 minutes. But as far as the strategy goes, look, you've got to know what is your real goal, okay? And, you know, more important, have you determined how much risk you can actually tolerate? And I'll show you something very key afterwards. And as you've all heard me say, if you do not align your investments with economic policy that's coming out of government, you're going to get beat up. It's just, you know... When, when you go into a change, that's the reason why so many people this year are down 25, 30%, as opposed to being down single digits or low teens. Now, and, and when are you going to start your chapter two? The question about running out of money, it comes down to a few things, okay? Life expectancy obviously is a key because we're all living longer. And I know if Katina has anything to do with it, we're going to live a lot longer than we thought. Okay, what's your annual spend? Here's a little rule of thumb. I've never met anyone whose costs go down when they retire. Okay, your taxes might because you move, but no. The other thing is, what is the market and the economy going to do? If the first three to five years that you retire, the economy is strong, that's great. But what if you have three negative years in a row and you're drawing money? That's negative compounding at its worst. And you've got to automate cash savings. If you do anything, you must have cash. So won't be able to retire. Okay, look, you know, you don't have the right plan. Social security is not going to be enough. Okay, uh, you don't have a pension. And maybe there was a shortfall in your savings. These are easy issues to overcome if you give yourself enough time. All right, how can I create a lifetime income? There are things called bonds, certificates of deposits, okay? They work, okay? You have to change them periodically. Social security will be there. They'll just make a start later. Annuities, it's not a dirty word. If you understand them properly, they may benefit you in a big way. And if you have whole life insurance with cash values in it, that's tax-free money that you can actually access and create your own bank. OK, I can talk to any one of you about any of these with no pressure. OK, so if I can get the screen to move, there we go. Um, I don't know why it did that, but let's go back to uh, this. Um, I think what I did was I clicked on the wrong one. Bear with me a second, people. Yes, OK, so. Um, right, OK, there we go. Sorry. How much time do I have left, Sean? Six minutes. Okay. Okay, back to this. Now, many of you have seen this, okay? And I'm going to do the little doohickey that I'm always doing. But to make it simple, fear and greed are your worst enemies, and we call them emotions. And let's just go right to exuberance. This is usually when someone buys cryptocurrency at the high and is sitting there wondering now why they're down 70%. But this is usually what you hear with exuberance. Or that other great song about money. Wow, 
Well, when we get to the flip side, which most people are experiencing right now, and we start to get into fear, I take you to a Steven Spielberg movie. I still have flashbacks from that movie. When we get into panic, for those of you who remember the sci-fi thriller, Twilight Zone, well, now it's over. You can't take the pain anymore. And you do the exact worst thing. You sell everything because in your head, this is what you hear. The problem is, for those of you who have been in this market, this is the worst time to buy because that's when it feels safe. Okay, this is the worst time to sell everything because this is your maximum opportunity. Um, you know, in my market, we may be the only marketplace where people do not buy things on sale. They insist on paying full price and worse, they insist on paying premiums. You're crazy because you know why this always works. You know the saying, it, it, it's gonna come back. Humans have this habit, when things break, they fix them. If we can't fix our economy and our money situation, your money doesn't mean anything. We're gonna be in foxholes and Jeannie's gonna be saying, Scott, you got any extra clips? And I'm gonna be going, yeah, you got any extra water? That's reality. Okay, so policy. Here's why you need to focus on policy and I'll wrap up quickly, okay? In 2020 to 21, the S&P was up 26.89%. That's a great year. One year later, it was down 13 and change. What changed? Energy policy and interest rate policy. Ladies, bear with me. I'm going to say four words that literally will trigger reactions. President Trump, President Biden. I don't care about their politics, but energy policy and interest rate policy changed. And if you don't pay attention when these things do change, you get hurt. Price of gasoline was 218 average at the end of 2020. Okay. I know now it's about 414, maybe 399. The 10-year treasury, which is the bellwether, paid you less than 1%. And as of last night, it was 3.335. Okay. Do I have a few minutes left, Sean? How much time do I have? Only two minutes. I'm sorry. I'm muted. How many? Two. Two minutes. All right. I'm going to send this video to anyone. This is about risk, but I'll show you what it means. We have a risk assessment that makes you choose the math of how much you can tolerate losing and gaining. Okay. The scale is simple. Zero to 100. Zero, your money's in the mattress. 100, the craziest Bitcoin traders are telling you, Scott, move away from the computer. You're killing yourself. Get professional help. Well, this over here on the left is a very typical portfolio, which we still see today. It is tech and growth heavy. And at an 86 risk number, what it's saying is your worst case is you could lose almost 21 and a half percent. Your best case is a little over 30 percent and everything in between. But here's the way we look at it. Hey, Scott, what are we supposed to be seeing? What, what are we supposed to be seeing? All I see is how can I create a lifetime of income? Are we supposed to be seeing a chart or a graph? Uh, yeah, you're supposed to be seeing yeah, what we, is your risk number. Does everyone see PowerPoint. that? No, we just see how can I create lifetime income, your PowerPoint. like. No, I'm sorry. Um, I guess I... I you might be sharing did. the wrong screen. Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. I apologize. I right, look, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send that video because I did change screens. I apologize, but no one no one hires me for my skill in tech. That's David's job, okay? Um, but I'm going to send you this video because um, if you haven't taken this questionnaire, you really owe it to yourself because nine times out of 10, what we find is people's portfolios are taking a lot more risk than they want. And if you have that gap, you need to close it.